Hello to my fellow Pokemon maniacs. My name is Ronnie, and I sell stuff online on eBay, and I love collecting Pokemon, and I love selling it on eBay as well. This is a segment on my channel called My Week in Pokemon, where I cover all of the Pokemon stuff and things that I do throughout the week, including the cards that I sold on eBay, the sealed investment pieces that I've added to my portfolio, and lots and lots of openings. This week video is chock full of openings, so a little bit later in the video, there's 20 minutes worth of me opening Pokemon product up throughout last week, which by the way was January 16th through January 22nd, 2023. Last week was the release date of Crown Zenith, so I was very excited about that. I opened up a ton of it. I had some tremendous pulls, but uh, yeah, if you want to stay tuned and watch that, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, right now, I would like to transition you guys over and I would like to share with you how we did on eBay selling single cards. So in total last week, we did sell 19 cards on eBay for a grand total of $94. That does not include eBay fees and it does not include shipping. I have three of the 19 cards brought up here that I wanted to share with you just because I had a couple of things to say about them. This first one was the highest dollar amount that I sold a card for last week. So again, I sold 19 cards. The highest dollar amount was $10.99. So it's not like I'm selling cards that are worth tons and tons of money. And I think that that's something that you need to be aware of that you're interested in selling cards is that it's going to be kind of nickel and diming that you're going to be selling a lot of two, three, four, five dollar cards in order to establish yourself on eBay because those are the cards that continuously sell. So this Mew was a card that I picked up in a bulk lot, sold it for $10.99, shipped gloriously beautiful artwork. I don't collect Japanese. Uh, I was able to pick this up in a bulk lot, so it was a really, really easy sell for me. Only took a day or two to list it and see it gone. That probably helps there for me to zoom in a little bit, but this is the second one that I wanted to talk to you about. And a lot of times, you're going to encounter a lot of dollar cards that you're thinking, well, I don't know really what to do with those. And one piece of advice I would have for you is that whenever you encounter a dollar or two dollar card, don't list that card for a dollar or two dollars because it's not going to be worth your time, energy, effort and the money that you get out of that card in order to list it and complete that transaction. You need to keep in mind that eBay takes 30 cents and 13% off of every single transaction. So if you listed a card for a dollar, you're going to pay, now it's 60 cents for eBay standard envelope. That takes you down to 40 cents. eBay is going to charge you 30 cents and that leaves you with 10 cents. And we still haven't even charged you 13% of eBay fees. So essentially you're losing money. You don't want to list cards for a dollar. You don't want to list cards for $2 even. My kind of go-to spot is $3.49. That's what I've identified as kind of my place where I'm okay with spending the time, energy, and effort to list a card because if I sell something for $3.49 after fees, after shipping, I'm going to get about $2 into my bank account. So I did just that with this Radiant lot. Those were all selling for about $1.50 a piece. I lotted them up. It sold rather quickly, $4.69. I'm really happy with that. I only have to pay one of those 30 cent transaction fees and 13% on that. So make sure you're lotting up your lower dollar value cards if you're going to sell those on eBay. Last one I want to talk about here is this Rotom V-Star. This was one of the first Crown Zenith cards that I listed and sold. And one of the things that I employed as a strategy here to kind of set myself apart from some of the other people that were listing Rotom V-Stars, there were other cards listed for $2.97. In fact, there were quite a few of them listed. So I wanted to stand out. So what I did was I offered one of the Crown Zenith sleeves as a part of my listing here. So what I did was I took a picture that shows exactly what they're going to get. In later listings, I even took an additional picture of the front card that cut out the sleeve. That way we could get a really nice view of the front of the card and you could see the condition. But I also included a picture of the back of the card and the sleeve as well. I feel like that set me apart a little bit and I was able to sell my cards maybe a little bit quicker than some of those other people. Ask yourself if you're looking at a bunch of different lots of Rotom V-Stars for $2.97 and you see one available with a penny sleeve and you see one available with the Crown Zenith sleeve, which one are you going to buy? That was the thought that I had. But don't you guys all go stealing my idea and doing that? Like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys can do that. It's all good. There's plenty of Pokemon buyers out there for everybody. So those are all the singles that I wanted to talk about for this week, but I also want to talk about the hauls that I had uh, as far as sealed product goes. It was an epic week. It was an epic week. And I guess one of the hauls was not sealed product, 
but it was an investment. That card that I sold, that Mew from V-Star Universe, that was from a three to 400 card lot that I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. I paid $205 for that. I am going to have a video that shows that purchase. I'm gonna go through all of the cards, and that video is also going to go through a humongous sealed collection that I purchased. It was a very crazy situation. Again, I found this person on Facebook Marketplace. They were somewhat local. Uh, they wound up meeting me in my town that I live in. They sold me $1,200 worth of sealed product. At least that's what I paid was $1,200, and it was actually worth about $1,800 to 1900 So that was fantastic. So I don't necessarily have anything to show you now other than to tell you that maybe I'll be fancy and like link the video up up here somewhere you can click on it if you missed that haul video but it was pretty epic and it was a lot of fun speaking of things that are epic and fun Pokemon card giveaways are super fun I gave away one of these Pikachu surfing and flying cards last week to a viewer and I want to do that again because there were a lot of people that entered it seemed like you guys wanted this so if you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is type the word Pikachu down there in the comments. If you would like to give me some more feedback as to what you would like to see in My Week in Pokemon, I would welcome that feedback tremendously. The rest of the video, again, it's 20 minutes worth of me opening Pokemon product throughout the video. If you want to stick around and watch that, awesome. If not, if this is all the information you needed for the week, cool, awesome. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, the channel is growing. People are engaging. Pokemon is amazing. Life is good. Appreciate you guys. Have a great week. Enjoy the pulls. What's going on, everybody? Let's open up some Pokemon cards. We've got a two-pack of tins. I'm only going to open up Mr. Score Bunny this evening. He's got four packs inside of him. I got this bundle from Sam's Club. I want to say that I paid $25. It might have been $20 for the both of those. Uh, five packs in this one, four in this one. We'll come back. We'll break it open, and I'll show you what packs we get in this guy, and then we'll do some ripping. Quite delighted by the old pack selection. We do have our Cinder Ace promo card. That's very nice. We'll look to sell that on the aftermarket because we've already got one. But we got four packs. We got Fusion Strike. We got Fusion Strike. We got Evolving Skies. And we've got Chilling Rain. Nice little variety there. Let's rip! Once again, the old Sam's Club 10s are very unkind to us. We got a lonely one to pull with the greeted V card. A little bit of a bust, but that's okay. It's Pokemon, it's fun to open, right? Right? You can't open a $100 Umber on every night like I did last night. That was pretty exciting. Happy Tuesday, it is time once again for a Pokemon opening. We're gonna jump back into one of these Strikers V10s, this time the Empoleon. Five booster packs, three Evolving Skies, two Brilliant Stars. Can we pull another Evolving Skies alternate art? Probably not, but there's only one way to find out. Let's rip! I'm revealing my cards to you, white code cards, no bueno, we got four of them out of five. Our only pull was this trash can guy, I mean literally he's a giant pile of garbage, his name is Garbador, and we got the Empoleon V promo card, and that's it, no alt art, try again tomorrow. Going back to the Sam's Club 10, <laughs> I don't have a good feeling about it, never pulled anything out of the Sam's Club stuff. Actually, that's not true. I got some Verizian boxes or something that I ordered from there, and I got a Chonkachu, Rainbow Chonkachu. Positivity, positivity, let's go. Uh, five booster packs, let's go. Pack selection, Fusion Strike, Fusion Strike. Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Chilling Rain. Let's wrap. Hate to say it, I was right. We got our Zamazenta promo card, we got a V card, and we got another V card, and that's it. Sam's Club. Uh. Happy Thursday, everybody. Pokemon opening of the day is going to be the Lance's Charizard V-Box. I really should not open this. I think there's only two cards in the entire set that is more expensive than this box. Retails for $20. I've just got so many of them, and uh, I'm kind of itching to open up some celebrations. It's been a long time since I've done that, so let's get to ripping and see what we get. Pack selection is not too shabby. We've got a Fusion Strike. We have four Celebrations packs. These only have four cards in each one of them, but they do have a Hollow guaranteed in every pack. And an Evolving Skies. Here we go. All right, I think we actually did pretty good. We've got the Jumbo Lance's Charizard card. We've got the promotional regular size Lance's Charizard card. We picked up a Surfing Pikachu V card. We've got a Professor's Oak Hollow card. 
Hint of the Celebrations packs is this Hollow Venusaur. Gotta love that. Classic artwork. Out of Evolving Skies, we pulled the Flareon VMAX. And then, out of Fusion Strike, our very first card that, or pack that we opened, Full Art Trainer, Alyssa Sparkle. Very, very nice. Alyssa, Alyssa, I don't know how you pronounce that. I pronounce that as a win. I'm glad that I opened that box, and it makes me want to open up more. It's so dangerous. Well, it's uh, still Thursday evening, and what did I say at the end of the last opening with the Charizard V-Box? Something about how I want to open up another one. Let's open up another one. <laughs> Dark Sylveon V-Box, 20 bucks. Probably the same pack selection. The, art, the luck was good in the first one. We're going to keep it rolling and see if we can replicate that in this one as well. Yes, indeed. Same exact pack selection. Let's go. We are once again very happy with our pulls. Here's what we've got. There's that Dark Sylveon promotional card. We found a Gengar Boy, our favorite Pokemon. I already have this one in our collection, but it's always nice to find another Gengar Boy. Flying Pikachu. Eight gajillion professors researches in my collection. And the Peace de la Resistance. Mega Rayquaza. That card alone pretty much pays for the box. So this is a victory. Large victory. Hooray for opening cards and making back what you invested in them. Of course. Celebrations booster packs are going for like five or six dollars, but who's buying loose booster packs? It's way more fun to open and pull something cool like that. So now I'm done for the evening. We'll catch you again tomorrow whenever we open up more Pokemon cards. Happy Friday, folks. I think what we've got here, what I'm hoping is in here, is my Crown Zenith. It is Friday. It's release day. 24-pound package from a online shop called Fortuna Games. Uh, I've bought from them many, many times. Really, really like that shop. Um, have booster boxes still in stock, which is kind of crazy. Um, I've been ordering a lot of Lost Origin from them, and I picked up some, I think in here we've got some Viv Voltage booster boxes. They were one of the few online companies that did have Viv Voltage, and I do see Crown Zenith! Hallelujah! Friday release day, I was starting to get really jealous of everybody that was opening up all week long, but we've got, not Crown Zenith, we've got a Verizian V box because it was cheap, I think it was like 12 bucks. An Infernate V-Box. I don't know what that cost. I don't remember ordering it. So like, I ordered four Fusion Strike booster boxes, but I think they only had three in stock. So I said, that's cool, just throw in something else. Like throw in either a Lost Origin or a Silver Tempest, then maybe some packs, and we'll call it good. So maybe the Infernape and the Verizian boxes are what they threw in instead. That would be really cool. So there's our Crown Zenith number one. We got the Regilecki and we got the Reggie Drago V box full of Crown Zenith goodness. Picked up another, another <laughs> uh, Charizard Ultra Premium, Ultra Premium collection. Words are hard. I'm very excited. If you couldn't tell, that was eighty-five dollars on their website. We've got not one Crown Zenith ETB. But two Crown Zenith ETBs and got a booster box case. Oh my gosh. This is very heavy. Okay, this is got some additional tape on it. Let's see what's in here. I'm guessing it's I had like I had an order that was back ordered, so it looks like they've actually combined those two orders, which is great. That'll save them some shipping. That's awesome. So I do have a full case of booster boxes here but I've got different sets. That's fun. So we've got, and I don't want to open these. Let me be a little more strategic about this without breaking the seal, because these are sealed investments. One fusion strike. Let me get a little closer to the camera now. That huge box is out of the way. Two fusion strike. Three fusion strike. I paid 125 a piece for those, I think. Might have been 120. We've got, there's our Silver Tempest, and that was from a pre-order, so that's not the one that's in place of the miss, missing Fusion Strike. There's the one that's in place of the missing Fusion Strike. And then we've got another Lost Origin Booster Box. My favorite set from Sword and Shield. All right, so Fortuna Games, they're awesome. Shout out to Hannah for packing my order. Fortuna Games for the win. 
Crown Zenith for the win. I've got so much Crown Zenith to open, and I'm probably I'm probably planning on opening every single bit of this, like right now. Cause, I, well, uh, maybe I'll, I don't know. We'll, we'll open one and see how it goes. And if it's just crazy bananas, then we'll feel good. But if it's not, then uh, maybe we'll open up even more. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Here we go, folks. As promised, Crown Zenith, my very first opening. I'm super excited. We get 10 booster packs, promotional card, all the other decoutrement that is normally accompanied with an ETB. But I'll open it up and show you what's inside. All right, here we go. So the box is actually different colors on each side, which is interesting. I did not realize that. Here's our sleeves. They are still matte colored, but I like the gold foiling in the background. Lucario design, of course. We got our promotional Lucario card in there, looking all fierce-like. Very, very nice. Uh, dividers, which are also different colors on each side. Cool. We do get our little collection booklet that gives us the cards in the set, so that's always great to have as a collector. Um, here's the dice. I'm not a player of the game in person, uh, so I don't really usually use these for anything other than to kind of sell in my flea market booth for people that are interested in those. The normal damage counters, the normal V-Star marker, again, those will go to my flea market booth. But of course, what we're all here for, 10 Crown Zenith booster packs. And they all have the same artwork. Not mad about that. 10 packs, Crown Zenith, new set day hype, let's go! We did it, we did it. Fourth pack, fourth pack. The Pikachu secret rare. The Pikachu Secret Rare! <laughs> yes! It's the only Secret Rare in the set. Uh, I don't know how rare that is because people are posting about pulling it all over the place, but it is a Secret Rare. It's 160 out of 159. Uh, and in that same pack, we also got a Radiant card. Woo, okay. All right. So four packs in, we pulled the only Secret Rare. How about that luck? Let's go! Recap time, here we go. There's that promotional card once again. We got the Glaceon V, which as of the time of the recording, this is selling for about $3.50. However, of course, that is probably gonna go down to about a dollar. Same with the trainer galleries. They're all selling for like two to three bucks right now, but I would imagine they're going to settle where most of the other trainer galleries, I guess these are Galarian gallery cards. Just love the artwork. You know, I'm collecting all of the gallery cards, so those are definitely good pulls for me. Radiant, however you say that, I've never heard of that Pokemon before, but it got a Radiant card apparently, that's cool. They're doing textured energy cards in this set, so do be aware of that, that if you see an energy card in the middle, um, it might have some texture to it and it might be worth some dollars as of the time of this recording. This one is selling for about five bucks. So this is actually the sixth most valuable card in the set as of the time of this recording. We are, again, release day Friday, January 20th. Um, it is currently selling on TCG Player for $53.39. I would expect that to go down a little bit more probably over the weekend. It seems like this is not a super hard pull. Of course, my number one chase cards are those gold cards, especially the Arceus and the Giratina. I would love to have those. I'm gonna have, I gotta have all four of them, just, just to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that was an awesome opening. And maybe I'll open up one of the Reggie Lecky or Reggie Drago boxes now. We'll go with the red box. That's my favorite color. Go Chiefs! Gonna take down those Jacksonville Jaguars tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, four packs in this, so I'll open everything up, show you what pulls we got. Fingers crossed for some gold in this one, baby. I think it heard me wrong whenever I asked for a gold card. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. But there's our promotional Regilecki Hollow card. There's our promotional Reggie Drago V card. We got a Zara Aura V card. And there's the gold that I think that it thought that I was meaning. So we got another one of the textured energy cards. So it pulled the exact same one. That's kind of funny. And then uh, we did get another Galarian Gallery card. So nothing super spicy in there, but a nice card to add to the PC. And we'll have to think about if we want to open up more today or not. It's either going to be today or tomorrow that I'm going to open up all the Crown Zenith that I have. Because I do have more, even more, even more Crown Zenith coming in the next couple of days probably. So I might be back. Doing it. Going in again. I just can't resist. Let's rip. 
All right, we've got one pack left to open. We've opened up everything else, but that one pack has something very spicy in it, so I wanted to go ahead and recap. I'm a little bit confused. This is that energy card that we opened a little bit ago. It does have texture to it, and I thought that I pulled another one because it's got the obvious shine to it, but it doesn't have any texture. And also, it's not a numbered card, whereas the energy card over here, it definitely has a number, so... That's kind of weird. You hold it up next to a regular energy card, you can definitely see there's a distinct difference. But again, this one is not numbered, whereas the textured ones are. Regardless, uh, okay. <laughs> Here's what we got. We got a cool looking Mewtwo Hollow. We finally got, I say finally, this is only the second product, third product that I've opened of Crown Zenith. We got one of the signed trainer hollows. That's cool. I love that dynamic of it. I always collect the Snorlax boy. I was so excited to see him. Oh, he's so cute. And his yarn, sleeping like he always does. We pulled a Zacian V-Star, pretty spicy. Rayquaza V, which I think that this is an, a reprint from Evolving Skies, maybe. And we got two of the Glaring Gallery cards. We got Voltorb, and we got Bidoof. Look at him, he's chilling on that log. It's so good. And uh, yeah, so I thought we would open up this kind of spicy pack together just to get a little feel for what's going on in the old crown zenith 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 i remember zenith televisions from back in the day i think my grandparents had one <gasps> Ooh -wee! where was my reverse at that warned me that that fire was coming my god look at that glaceon oh <laughs> Hello, darling. I'm glad to see you. Uh, that ETB was slow rolling. It was like the first three packs that had pretty much nothing. Comes through in the end. Oh, my gosh. Actually, maybe that's in the trainer gallery slot. That probably is what happened. All right. Yeah, there's there's our rare card right there. There's our beast card right there. Crown Zenith, baby. It's been good to me so far. Let's go. I was trying to make it till tomorrow to open up the last of my Crown Zenith product, but I just can't. I've been <laughs> watching everybody on Twitter open it up, and uh, yeah, so this is the last of my Crown Zenith until I go to Walmart tomorrow and see if I can find some more. So we'll open this up, four packs, see what we get. <laughs> Little buddy wanted to join me and open up some cards. Wow, we got something really good in the first pack. <gasps> oh. Look what? at that card, buddy. Well, is that a legendary? It's freaking legendary. It's Galarian Gallery. Wow. That's wow, you actually got that. Hooray. Rest of them were okay. Should we open up another pack? Mm -hmm. I think I'm. Wait, be careful. <laughs> Let me put this in a sleeve. <laughs> I wish I had a Pokemon card like that. Isn't that beautiful? Uh huh. Woo! Beautiful Luminion, the Galarian Gallery. I actually got some legendary cards of Charizard yeah, and you, Pikachu. Your collection is, is quite legendary, as yeah. are you, just in general. Uh, wait, I think they do. Oh yeah. no, it's the cursed Mr. Mime. Ah! <laughs> we hate Mr. Mime. Ah! We should throw this one away. Toss it. <laughs> I'll toss it into the can. Well, you gotta... Okay, in the trash can. Yeah. It's like... You gotta stay on my lap. You're good luck. Yeah. That card that I pulled out at first pack was beautiful. Hang oh, on. Hang on. That's Careful. a red in there. Easy. Well, you get some pretty Radiant charge bug. Radiant charge bug. Yeah, but I think we already got that one. I want to say maybe. I don't know. We don't like Mr. Mime. No, Mr. Mime is cursed. Yeah. And he's kind yeah. of. Ugly and weird looking. That's why I threw the Mr. Mime Pokemon card away. That's true, you did. It was a good, good all call. The, all the Mr. Mime cards that you get, I will throw away. All right, to okay. recap, we got the Radiant card. We got the promotional Reggie Leggy. We got yeah. the Reggie Leggy Jumbo card. And the Luminion, just absolutely gorgeous glaring gallery. I don't know where I can get those giant Pokemon cards. You don't know where? Uh-huh. Look, I've got a bunch of them right here. Yeah, but Charizard is my absolute favorite Pokemon. How about a Snivy? You want a Snivy? <laughs> He's <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> Nobody wants those. 
What is wrong with you? Uh, well, the biggest problem that I have right now is that I don't have any more Crown Zenith Pokemon cards to open. Should I go buy some more tomorrow? You want a giant Charizard, but should I buy more Pokemon cards tomorrow? That's what I thought. Give give the camera a nice Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur! <laughs> it's like perfect, perfect every time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <coughs> oh, too much. <coughs> too much. <air. laughs> Uh, it's still Saturday. The Chiefs just won. I'm, like, emotionally spent. Uh, Pat got hurt. It was, like, crazy game, but I was like, I'm just going to come in here and open up some cards. I'm not going to worry about filming it and just enjoy the experience. And then I casually pull what I think is the most valuable card in Pokemon Go. I really love Pokemon Go, just in general. I know that, like, there's not a ton of value in the set, but they keep having these tins on sale on Walmart.com for 10 bucks a pop. And, uh, I mean, how can I not? And then I pull the Rainbow Rare Mewtwo, which this is the first rainbow I've ever pulled in Pokemon Go. All of the rainbows to complete my master set I bought on the secondary market. What a beauty. What a beauty. That's, that's freaking awesome. Okay, this, this day is quite amazing.